Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. And this is Borderlands Remastered, otherwise known as Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced. And lately I've been working on um, a pistolero build with Mordecai, which I call Gunsmoke. And um, yeah, I've already taken this already, already up to oh, on, level 31. And as I was working on this build, I wanted to insert or rather um, include legendaries harvested from the Hyperion gift shop. So I started working on the information that I provided you with in the previous video about legendaries spawning in the Hyperion gift shop at level 20. And I was surprised when I was working on this Pistolero build that at level 22, which is where I'm at now, I was still not getting legendaries in, um, in the gift shop. And I was like, what the heck is going on here? So I did some extensive testing and realized that it's there, not your current level that will get legendaries to spawn in the Hyperion gift shop. By the way, for those of you who don't know, the Hyperion gift shop is the reward that you get for completing the Claptrap New Robot Revolution DLC. And um, you may hear some noise, some traffic noise coming in from outdoors. It's a warm day here in Montreal, Quebec, so I got the windows open. Yeah, the new, the Claptrap New Robot Revolution DLC rewards you with this fantastic gift shop. Here it is right here. Okay, we're in Tartarus Station, and this is what opens up at the end of the DLC. This is your reward. And you can get a lot of kick-ass weapons in here, including legendaries. Now, um, there's kind of a thing. How do you get legendaries to spawn in here? Because a lot of people talk about, you know, I don't get legendaries to spawn in here ever. And I did some testing, and in the previous video, I, as I said, I thought it was because as soon as you hit level 20, it turns out that that test character was just a coincidence that he was at level 20 and legendary started spawning. Now, here I am at level 22. Let's check it out. No legendaries. No legendaries anywhere. Notice something else too. No items above our current level. There's no items above level 22. In fact, the highest item I'm going to find is level 19. That's number two. Number three, no Iridian weapons. Okay, so those are the three things that you're looking for to see if your gift shop leveled up. Okay, you don't have any of that. And I was like, what? What have you done to me? And I was determined to find out the exact trigger line to get legendaries to spawn early game in the Hyperion gift shop. Now I can only guarantee this um, if A, you just started the game, like not playthrough 2, but like from playthrough 1, and B, you completed the Claptrap DLC before you entered the Doll Headland. Alright? As long as those two conditions are met, I can guarantee that you will get legendaries if you follow this procedure. What it's based on is the level of your current main story mission. Not your current level, your current main story mission. Not optional missions either. Okay, so my main story mission is currently leaving Firestone. And as you can see, this is rated at level 18, not high enough. We have to get it to level 20. And the first main story mission or plot mission as it is referred to in the official Borderlands game guide is powering the fast travel network. That's the first plot mission, quiet trap, lap trap. The first plot mission rated at level 20 is powering the fast travel network. So let's do this right now in real time. Okay, we're gonna leave Firestone. This is directly after defeating Sledge. This is the mission you get directly after defeating Sledge. Yeehaw, too willing in here, boss. You get the mission to leave Firestone and you enter the Doll Headland for the first time.
Now, even though um, you're not getting legendaries, that's no reason to not unlock the Hyperion gift shop early. You can get some kick-ass so weapons. Really kick-ass weapons. The vault is real, eh? hmm. Everyone is talking about it. This is the biggest thing that's happened here in a long time. Think of the visitors we will have. Listen, if you find it, what's inside could be worth a fortune. But only if you get the right partner to help you sell it. So, partners? Headland. Alright, so we're leaving Firestone. First objective is to meet Ernest Whiting. Just around the corner and up the hill here. Turn in the mission leaving Firestone. Get the new plot mission, Getting Lucky. And Big Game Hunter. Well, that piece like, yeah, I know, I know what you're going to say. Let's take a look at that. Big Game Hunter is rated at level 20. And eh, doesn't work though, because Big Game Hunter is an optional mission. I already tried this, so I thought, oh, okay, this is the criteria, it's the, the level of the mission. So I went back in a Praxis run and tr and opened up the Hyperion gift shop to see if I can get any of the legendaries. No, that's not going to work. It's this mission right here, which you have to complete, which will unlock another mission, and that will be the first mission, plot mission, or story mission rated at level 20. Let's do it right now. It's a quick mission. Kill 15 bandits in Lucky's area. buddy of mine, and uh, by old buddy, I mean asshole that ruined my mom's girl parts. Well, sounds like he's in trouble, so you go on ahead and try to keep him alive long enough so I can kill him at a later occasion. Okay, take care of those guys. And I'm going to plow through this area with this fantastic weapon here. The Savage Masher, which I got from the Hyperion gift shop. Okay, let's do this. That's it. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> and the badass that always pops out of Lucky's bunker here. That's the end of him. Go free Lucky. Turn in the mission getting Lucky. Watch. And get a new mission. There you go. Powering the fast travel network. Now note that this says optional mission. This is an error. This is not an optional mission. This is actually a plot mission. Now I'm going to show you uh, screenshots or like, well, shots I took with my camera of my official Borderlands game guide that I've had for many years. I bought it like way back in 2009. I've had this for many years and it shows on page 234 that powering the fast travel network is not an optional mission. It's actually a story mission or what they call a plot mission. Okay. 
and this is the first story or plot mission rated at level 20. Once you take this on board, have, that's it. I, I that's the trigger line. Bag alive long enough for me to pound on later. Much as it pains me to admit, Lucky knows the area better than anyone. I want to use him while he's alive for me not having killed him at all. Now, you don't actually have to do this mission. All you have to do is take it on board. That's it. All you have to do is have it on board. Once it's on board, it's on board. Let's go back to the Hyperion gift shop. Okay, back at the Hyperion gift shop. All the chests have respawned. Let's open them up. What do we have here? Bingo. Legendary. Bingo, Iridian weapons. Bingo, weapons above our current level. You see, that's the trigger line. That's all you have to do. It's the level of your current story mission. That's what does it. Works every time too. I've used this to create a really ridiculously powerful pistol arrow build with mortar guy. Like, it's that reliable. Now you may be wondering, do you actually have to be at level 20 to do this? No. I'm going to switch over to a character um, I have prepared where I'm actually at level 19. But I have the Powering the Fast Travel Network mission on board. And because of that, I can still spawn legendaries in the gift shop. Let's switch over to that character now. Okay, here we go. Here's my level 19 Mordecai character I've called Speedwing. Let's load him up into Tartarus Station and go take a look at the Hyperion gift shop. First of all, let's check his criteria. Missions. Current story mission is once again powering the fast travel network. It is on board. Oh, here. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Crack all these suckers open. Remember the three things we're looking for is I see a legendary already, see? Yeah, three things we're looking for legendaries. For reading weapons, I see two legendaries. Legendaries, reading weapons, and items over your current level. Okay, so there we go. We definitely have legendaries. There's an Iridian weapon. Lots of legendaries. And here's items over our current level. See, so that is definitely the trigger. How many legendaries did I get this time? One. I see two, three, four. Oh my gosh, the bonanza. Huh. Yeah, so that's it. Definitely, that is it. I'm totally convinced of this now. Now with this information, I am now using this because now we know the exact trigger line you can use to get legendaries to spawn early game in the Hyperion gift shop. So now I'm thinking, wow, okay, let's just do a speed run through the Claptrap DLC and, you know, start working that into creating really powerful builds because, you know, we can have legendaries anytime, anytime we want. So that's what I've done. I've created a super powerful Mordecai build, which you saw earlier, I called it Gunsmoke. It's insane. Um, thinking of doing some videos on this, at least some Power Star videos to like, like, like from point A, like starting the game to point B. At this point, where you like, you know, you have legendaries spawning in the um, Hyperion gift shop. 
and I'm thinking of doing like a Claptrap DLC speedrun. I can do it in about half an hour now. I know there's some guy you can do it in like five minutes, but that's like I'm I'm talking about not a competitive speed run, a a speed run for convenience for like mere mortals like you and me who do you know who don't know how to grenade jump and take advantage of all kinds of super skip glitches, which I'm not gonna do, you know. I'm just gonna like this is a convenience speed run. Okay, so that's probably what's coming up next. At least the power start for this Mordecai Gunsmoke Pistolero build. Um, and how to get your proficiencies up very quickly, your pistol proficiency. This is not like a Pistolero build I'm doing as a matter of role playing. This is like, you know, a strategic run. All right. So that's it. So now you know how to get legendaries to spawn. Um, post a comment. Um, I know there's some who have like very high level characters who are still not getting legendaries to spawn in the Hyperion gift shop. Um, I feel for you. I <laughs> know it must be really frustrating. I, I don't know how to answer that. The only thing that I can think of, this is what I was thinking of because I've read this elsewhere. Other people who are like had level 50 characters and, and all their the items they're getting in the gift shop are stuck at level 40 and none of them are, are legendary. The only thing I can think of is because the powering the fast travel network is the trigger if you started the DLC, the Claptrap DLC, after the powering the fast travel network in playthrough 2, at that point there's no opportunity to run past the trigger line, which is this. So that could be, this is entirely speculation, mind you, that could be why you're not getting legendaries to spawn um, in the Hyperion gift shop. Like I said, this method I can only vouch for starting a new game completing the Claptrap DLC before going into the Doll Headland and then completing the Getting Lucky mission and getting the Powering the Fast Travel Network mission on board in that order. Okay, I can only vouch for this method if you do it like that. That's it. Um, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.